They keep saying it's going to go up. They keep saying real estate prices will never go down. And they just kept pushing that narrative to the point that millennials are now holding the back. Because home prices are very unique, you know, in 2021 and 2020, they're kind of low, right? And then it suddenly went up. I've never seen home prices go up this much. Homes are supposed to be very stable investments. They're supposed to slowly go up in the next few years, not in the next few months. In fact, I've seen whole neighborhoods, like prices went from like 300,000 to literally 500 grand in just a span of 24 to 36 months. So check out this tweet by Unusual Wells on X. We got in 2022, millennials are the largest generation of home buyers, accounting for 43% of all purchases. That number has fallen to 28% in 2023. Seems like millennials are the ones holding the bag, especially with millennials being such a niche age group, make it up almost 50% of all purchases. It really makes you wonder who is the one losing all this real estate money because new construction prices are dropping right now, right? Look at this home, 15 grand cut. Five thousand grand, five thousand dollar cut right there. You know, five point nine k cut right there. And you have more and more price cuts every single day. What's really worse is new construction is building like crazy. You already see construction companies going for fire sales to sell as many homes as possible. And millennials just buy, 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 and they're starting to realize, oh crap, I bought a bunch of houses, and a lot of these houses prices have dropped. I'm kind of screwed here. And this is what's happening. And these millennials are now selling at very cheap prices. In fact, in 2024 this year, it's gonna be even cheaper. If you guys think that this real situation will be going up because of rate cuts, no. We're seeing a recession. We're seeing a big tech and finance layoff. Nobody is wanting to risk it for the biscuit and buy a house. And millennials that bought in are now taking enormous price cuts, enormous hits like this one. A solid house with a a $79,000 price cut. And it sucks, especially if you're a guy in your 20s, 30s, you bought one of these properties or you bought two properties and you see your wealth just disappear. And look at this. You know, a lot of people don't really look into how much mortgage they're approved or they can afford. And now if a lot of banks out there are actually being very lenient and saying you could just do like a 2 3% down payment, people go nuts. People buy a bunch of house they can't afford. And this is why foreclosures are still up. Foreclosures are higher every single month for the past two years right now. And check this out. 62% of Americans are still living paycheck to paycheck, making it the main financial lifestyle. Especially the younger guys like Gen Z and even some of the millennials. They're going all out. They know they can't afford a house or they know they're screwed. They might as well just spend it all tonight. And this is what we're seeing here. Tech firms, Wall Street, lead job cuts in corporate America. This is the scary part. This is the one that's causing millennials to not want to buy homes. And the guys who bought it at the tippy top, they can't sell for the original price. I mean, look at this. Housing market started to crack. Sellers are cutting prices at record levels. You could no longer price and sell where the price used to be. And this is just scary stuff. This is the type of stuff that frightens people. And a lot of these guys, when they bought it at the tippy top, they can't sell it to the guy next to them. You know, real estate prices can't stay on the top because people are getting laid off. And yes, I get it, guys. Unemployment numbers went down. But I don't really think people making 15 an hour can afford homes that are like 400, 500K. Okay? High paying jobs are very difficult to find right now in America. Low paying jobs are frankly very easy to find. Especially when if, if you want to afford a half a million dollar suburban house that's pretty decent, you're going to be needing to make like $150,000, $250,000 household income. And the only companies that are willing to do that isn't Denny's. It's going to be big corporate America, big companies like Google and stuff like that. So this is why sellers are cutting prices at record levels. And millennials at the end are going to be the ones holding the biggest bag of poop. And I feel bad. And especially a lot of these millennials bought it at the very top. I mean, 2022, housing prices were insane. And for once, 2023, housing prices actually went down. And I don't really think these guys are willing to sell right now. But hey, some of them are kind of forced to. This is why we're seeing a lot of very cheap deals. And guess who's going to be buying all these cheap deals in 2024 when rates get cut? You know, people with money, corporations, they're just going to buy it back. And they will make a heavy profit. Thanks for watching, guys. Comment below before we leave. Definitely check out the private Discord server, guys. Patreon link below for some amazing trades. There's even a seven-day free trial, and it's only $20 a month. And we are making a lot of cash. I personally 
even use this server. You know, like this. We just made a good scalp a few days ago with Spy. Made like 22%. A pretty nice scalp. So check us out. Trade with us and make some money with us.